4 amps, 1.5 amps, and 27 volts. So you can calculate the watts. And uh, just a, a very short uh, introduction to what I've made here because uh, it's outside minus 10 degrees Celsius at night, so it's it's quite hard now. Uh, here that's the same uh, sprocket and the same chain, and this is my replacement motor, which I was always carrying around, uh, and the replacement control board. And so this time I added this uh, pedal crank, or here with bearings and here to um, so this is one part so that you can push the pedals here with the bearings on top and then you can uh, connect the, the second type here 3d printing uh, here inside two bearings uh, 90 millimeter outside five millimeter inside here the abs uh, got rid so this is now here a bit uh, friction uh, here it's still okay. So this is I think uh, 81 and this is 20. This is about 4 to 1 and um, I'm pedaling now with uh, 60 rpm. Uh, that's quite comfortable. So I end up with 240 and uh, I once uh, measured the key way, the rpm per volt as 14. So you <laughs> 240 divided by uh, 14, I uh, don't know, but it's it's already quite close to the uh, 25 volts. And you see this uh, control board uh, underneath there, it can step up. And so uh, just now I want to show uh, uh, the code that I made. It's it's, it's public, uh, it's a project generator. And uh, so um, because this uh, sh should be also exactly uh, usable for, for wind turbines, for water uh, uh, turbines. And uh, so yeah, what, what I need is you need a, a, free, a free wheeling. So after three seconds, it's, 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 uh, I added an enable tool so that it can start up. And once uh, you see now, I'm, that's why now it doesn't uh, start up because I'm pedaling backwards. But if I would go forward at you see at this speed, if a uh, RPM is reached, a target RPM, then uh, the motor kicks in and then uh, it forces a, a speed. And so you just have to uh, continue to increase the speed to, to get this here, uh, this little uh, energy back. Yeah, so so let's take, take a look at the code. So, as I said, project generator, uh, continue. It's the Emmanuel Ferrou, and I made uh, three changes. So let's see. Simply start with the PLDC. So I added this enable two uh, because I might also go with enable, but I don't really understand fully what is going on uh, with enable. So I added an enable two, and then you simply search uh, and search for enable. And then, then you can see where, where I made the changes. So wherever there is an enable, there is also an enable. And string G, you go to the next. Or you can also search here for robo uh, throughout the entire code to see my changes. It's, it's really very simple. There's another enable tool that can do the same as what enable does. So I do not have to interfere with enable uh, when I've made my enable too. And, and then uh, let's take a look at the config.h. Uh, here again, uh, simply search for robo. Uh, and then you see, okay, you see, I enabled uh, the serial output. It's quite uh, nice. So you can see uh, what RPM you, um, you are reaching and when the, the motor should, should kick in. And string G to get into next. Here I inverted the left direction. Uh, <coughs> this might be uh, necessary for the speed uh, calculations in, in, in main.c. And I here is seven cells, so this is a 24 volt uh, uh, set up. But if you have a faster wind generator and you can charge a 36 volt battery uh, than 10s, I think 12s is what people already um, is safe. 14s is, is, is a bit uh, difficult. 
Here I disabled the right motor because there well, only one motor, but you might make a, a, a flying wind generator with, with two hoverboard motors uh, counter-rotating, so the torque uh, uh, cancels each other, so it um, could, could be nice. Here is this enable timeout, that's where the, uh, when this is defined, then here after three seconds this motor goes into um, idling and, and yeah. I reduce the timer to 10 uh, minutes and so uh, yeah here the, the fil that's another thing the filter it's uh, the low pass that's how fast uh, uh, the controlled uh, uh, PVM is is applied and you have to try a bit see I, I doubled it uh, so make it faster uh, you see, it's uh, 6553 it would be 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1, and I made it 0.2, uh, so that it's uh, the, it reacts faster. But if it's too fast, uh, and okay, you have to try. And yeah, so that's the six. And I set the uh, kept this the voltage mode, so there's a PVM. Uh, it would be nice to take the speed mode. Uh, because you see the speed mode I think is RPM and then you could directly say okay start at, at 60 RPM and then uh, keep a 60 RPM uh, but the speed mode is so tight it's, it's really um, and you see uh, with the filter it, uh, if you set the, the RPM to 60 then the filter will start with 3 RPM 4 uh, 6 and, and go up and as its speed, uh, um, the, the control uh, closed loop is so tight, uh, you see it stops because it, it initially is not a 60 RPM because of this filtering. Uh, it starts with uh, with one RPM and then, then all. The, whereas the PVM, the, the voltage mode, uh, works quite nice. Okay, so that's uh, uh, config, and now it's the main code. And so let's again search for Robo. And here you have this extern uh, redeclaration re or the declaration because it's already defined in some other C file that's a BLDC. And but here to make use of it, we have to redefine it or redeclare it with as extern. Here I uh, added this uh, left DC current LP that's low pass. So I simply made a one a one liner my own low pass to get a sum the current sum somehow a constant over time and a, a counteractive uh, that's a simply a, a very a, a timer that I need uh, you will see quickly and so here's here's a code so here's the while one this is a main loop and here's the read command and yeah as I uh, did I tell you. Uh, I've set it to variant ADC. That's the most simple one. And so I simply modified the main.c. And so here now with read command, you basically have these uh, two IDC, uh, these potentiometers. Uh, you can uncomment them here and then you might, um, you see, adjust the, 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 the constant speed uh, with a potentiometer or whatever you like. Uh, but I, you see, I can flash it uh, how, how I like. So here now, this is a code. And this is uh, two parts. You see the inactivity counter. So it's in the beginning, the first uh, one second. If the RPM of the left motor is above 120, uh, whatever this is, you see, yeah, I have this four to one uh, gearing. So a 60 would be. Uh, 240 so at, at half of my uh, final um, uh, then it kicks in and after but only in the beginning phase and then uh, after this uh, in, in counteractive is above 100 you see that's where this uh, the debug serial comes into play that you can um, adjust these these values and but now you have to then you have to uh, generate energy so you see in the in the startup phase um, it's okay if the motor so the wind turbine it starts uh, rotating uh, but then after then it, it has to uh, generate energy and so if in one of these two cases uh, then um, I simply where is it 
Yeah, that's here, there's the speed ride. And then I simply set the speed to, that's this PVM, you see, that's not the RPM. You have to mm, find out 500. I think uh, I did work with 400. Uh, you have to play a bit to, to find a nice uh, right value. If someone succeeds with the RPM, uh, with the speed mode, then it would be simpler because then you see this 120 would directly be linked to this, uh, uh, to the command to set the speed, but as the speed here is a, a voltage, is a PVM uh, ratio, so something from zero to 1000, uh, and minus because you have the setup here, it's uh, rotating in that direction. Uh, you have to um, to change these values in correlation, <laughs> don't know. Uh, left speed is zero. Um, you should, um, in the beginning here, uh, do not disable the left motor because um, it should not sp um, speed, uh, speed uh, anyway if you set your speed left. And if it does, well, then that's some problem. This is um, send. You see these uh, two commands as a voltage. Uh, now it's okay. It was still the motor, and now these 10 minutes are over, and that's why it turned off. And this long B boss because the first tip transistor is. Uh, blown on that board and therefore it cannot be turned off and turned on but that's quite nice because I simply have to did you hear I have to simply power it on and it automatically will start up so I do no longer need this button uh, this ADC is a steer and and and, and speed uh, but uh, I, I made this uh, function here send LR where we can directly send the speed for the left motor and the speed for the right motor it's uh, quite and, and to this calculation here it's that's uh, you see first I think the steer is a subtraction and the uh, the speed then is uh, the average of these and and for this uh, the uh, the steer coefficient must be 0 0.5 and the speed coefficient 0.0, that's in the config, it's, that's the standard value. Uh, you see that's now here, as I said here, there's an input, uh, it's above. You can uh, store the, these, these, the ADC values in some um, nice variables and then you override them <laughs> immediately afterwards here now with uh, this minus 400 according to this um, steer and and, and speed uh, converted to left motor and right motor. Then the inactivity counter is set uh, to zero. Um, this uh, counter is used for this enable too, so um, it will never be disabled, but uh, if uh, this starts counting, incrementing then from some value on this after three seconds, the motor will be uh, disabled and then the wind turbine, uh, the wind could is, uh, would have enough torque to start the wind turbine. And here's a counter active. That's, that's, I'm simply counting. You see, once I'm counting, I'm counting upwards and um, don't want to overflow, so I do it only up to 10,000. Uh, 1,000 should be one second. It's not quite that, but whoever. Okay, and if we are not uh, in this uh, power generating motor uh, mode, then uh, simply um, uh, resets the counter active because we are no longer active and set both commands to zero and to, to turn off the motor. Well, yeah, that's it. Um, let's still look at the other code changes. So again, Robo. Uh, yes, here there's a current. Uh, by by now, uh, who had they have added uh, the current. Uh, so it's already here. You could go with the DC current, but I only have one motor, and this is simply a, a, a low pass. So 90% of the old value is, is kept, and only 10% of the uh, current value is added, and so this is a low pass. And, and now here, that's this uh, debug output, uh, which I've changed a bit. So you can really see the, the RPM of the left motor, right motor, the current of left and right. Here is my counter active, and here is the inactivity counter, and here are these original commands. And finally, here this is a simple code for the enable timeout. You see the inactivity counter is here, and if it's um, below this enable timeout, 
uh, timeouts, then it's uh, enabled, and if it's not, then it's uh, well disabled. Yeah, that's it. Then then you go here to compile and uh, generator 7s. You click on compile at your own risk, and after three seconds, you get a uh, the binary file which you can flash by now there's this uh, this cube uh, it's no longer this st linked uh, but what you can download is this is this this cube compiler which is you know, basically the same yeah <laughs> that's it and i don't have shoes so i cannot go outside uh, to show you <laughs> my little home maybe uh, in a few minutes okay bye bye